Hello. I am Dr. Phelan Haley, and my skin is a mess. Uh, hair needs to be clean, but it's okay. Uh, I have a condition called a juvenile hunting disease, and I am also pregnant. I have, I am having a baby probably later this year or uh, next year. Uh, I have had a disease since I was uh, probably six or seven years old. And so I just have no annoying movements. Which are, the Korean movement of hunting disabilities, that's pretty much all I have. And I don't have any really ne bad neurological decline. And I still do most of the things for myself. Uh, I, I really want to get rid of my tubby chin. Yeah, tubber tubber. I'll, I'll probably work that off by filming my movie. I probably got a, like a, God knows, a skin condition. I don't know what the hell that is in my skin. It looks like a, I've also got a, a HIV. And also I have a condition called a, a Hodgkin's lymphoma, which is another shit in the can. Yeah, because uh, I, and also I'm filming a movie for nothing right now. I'm filming the same movie where I need to look like a hack it. A doctor filming after hours on a horror movie and like I want to say central and I'm like, so I'm in the back and call of uh, how my shits are done in the tube and stuff like that and uh, why I was chosen for the park and nobody else would want to do this horror movie because it, sh it freaked the living shit out of some people. Uh, so, and it usually did, but then me, so I was like, why not? As long as I get paid, uh, which I'll be waiting, I'll be waiting. Uh, that's nice, yeah, nice and white, uh, considering uh, I, my nemesis will be defeated when I enter this shop on St. Peter's, William Gary in it, again, and I'm going to, I'm going to be like, oh, I'm going to see, how dare you give my results to some other person that has never spent seven or eight weeks in the William Gower? Yeah, I did. I heard that I like it there. Mm. Uh, you don't get shops out there to go and get some sweets or anything like that, so... Mm, nope. Uh, so... With that, I put my hair forward. I've usually got it back, so that's what my hair is like when it's down. Uh, and... I have a... My type of hunting disease started quite early on, so I, in order I reached 40, I, I was done. I have had a hunting disease probably since I was a child before a hunting disease ever became known I, by in the UK because it's not as well known here as it is in America. And I also have a condition called lupus in my face, so if anything, I need to get that. So somebody keeps on knifing me in the forehead uh, for some reason, because I think my forehead's an extra sketch while well, I'm doing a horror movie. So I want to look like a hack it beast, yeah. Uh, trying to keep my, considering I'm following footsteps of Frankie Ponte and everybody like that, and I'm like, uh, hey, okay. Especially when you graph under there, like my my, hunt, my Hodgkin's lymphoma, it caused me to rest up quite a lot in my bed. 
um, which is another one thing you can look at on enough insultive TV before it gets in your work and you just want to go out to the park or something like that and go and a film maybe a bit more but a uh, I uh, don't do it too light, put to the lines in my forehead because somebody tried to be a malicious cow and put them on my forehead. Um, you still look like that. Nothing. And I've got to go into, there's talks about me going into, say, either Hobby or Casualty or some other series. Uh, but uh, get this thing. Uh, mm. The American sits here and I'm not budding, eh? And I wish I really had a video of this movie or some sort of a eh? other thing. So forget your troubles, come on, get happy, chase all your cares away. Shout out, Lilia, come on, get happy, right for the judgment day. Um, so, uh, I hear from Jack Haley, the Tin Man, and uh, Judy Garland, and my grandmother, and uh, uh, Jack Haley is my grandfather, uh, Eliza Minnelli, and Jack Haley Jr. are my mother and father, and my. Uh, I have. My lips are like Jack Cayley, the Tin Man, but I need to get rid of girth under there. I, I don't eat a lot of food, so I don't know why I've got like extra slab under there, so I need to get rid of that. Yeah, I need to go out and walk a bit more and go and film some pent up fat anger and go and film some things with some idiots. Annoying me when I'm filming this movie at my own free will, not getting paid, and, and having a mass dis a mass disruption in my a, the previous two years before I started filming this movie, and, and press pre a, annoyances. So and when I'm in the trip, I don't want to be bothered. A too much a by people who are pressing me by because in the, at the end of the day I want to be able to find my shoes at the end of the day, at the end of the shoot because I don't know most of the I, most of the end of the scenes a, most of the movie it will be done for any any footwear because a. Basically, unless I wear a secure fruit, well, where else is this movie? It's pretty much a you no way in hell and heels. Mm -mm. It just won't work in this movie. And uh, not that I need to crack it. I'm really tired. It is now 3 o'clock in the morning. I've still not given birth. Uh, I've gone through gang rape, terrible rape, and also uh, people think my mouth's a deposit for their semen, yeah, nasty word called blowjobs, yeah, and people think they can do that to people in here, they think they're up a gum tree, whilst they try to sell my property like it was a gum tree, whilst they Stuart lied about me. And he can't lie anymore. He's trying to he's trying to now, but it's too late. He's trying now. I'm not in that way. Hey, I'm no longer a patient of Amy Chapman up in a, this Barton house. It's a, a not even really a GP surgery. It's a, not even deemed a GP surgery by Google. Yeah, Earth. So neither one saw it. Yeah, and uh, cause uh, he can't lie. Yeah, a uh, Joe Mary Cooper went away with my millions of my abuse account, and my mother has also stole. Nancy Hamilton is stole. Well, my adoptive mother is stole like loads and loads of money off me with my agent. 
Aunt Jean, my, uh, from my doctor's side, thinks it's all right for her to go and spend loads and loads of money hey, going on lots of European trips. Well, Sam, hard working in New York, filming things for free, and uh, doing music up my room like a damn well Mozart composer. Hey, so. Hey, I got to all the people who have juvenile Huntington's disease. I also have that condition. Hey, you don't see me. Hey, with, like, hey, I call it, don't miss me, because you know, when you're, mm, you curl into hyperbolism and you just want to punch a living daylights out of people, that's like, yeah, yeah, cat call, yeah, I call it, yeah, it's like the cat. That's that's all you'll get from the cat, eh, who's the cat and the dolphin down the road there in Mare Street. Uh, it goes... <laughs> hey, it's like, don't touch me, don't touch me. I'm pausing to precious. Yeah? I'm a cat, but don't you just insult me, yeah? I was just checking somewhere because Sunday stole my bank details and he's a liar. Yeah, it went off my millions and the girls up the stairs and it all went off my multi millions. If you ever see somebody in blue in red and white in London, it signifies that they have millions in their bank account. My skin's a right hacket mess, but that's where you get me. You have AIDS and HIV as well as also a, a condition called uh, lupus. I got a little bit of a closer uh, hey, happening there. In there, but the, n that doesn't matter because Gail will probably meet that up and uh, do some makeup with that and go on and film this whatever horror movie that I'm doing. Yeah, it's in London City Central, and mm, I play a, a really tired, outbeat doctor. Uh, really, really exhausted. But uh, when you're dealing with a child in exorbitant uh, school fees uh, for private schools and stuff like that, and look at like other schools that like like out the good equivalent, yeah. Uh, that's what I've been busy doing. I've been checking out uh, how much it costs to send my kid to the American school, and Pam is green as well as sending her to a boarding school. The boarding school came out cheaper at the end of the day. And a, a American school in London cost 445,000 pounds, 150. Another, a farmer's green cost 300,000 pounds. And if I really want to make it a good time there, Three hundred and forty-three thousand pound, and then a boarding school was a three hundred and like three hundred and two three thousand three hundred thousand two hundred, and a also other things as well. Uh, so I'm totaling up the cost. I've already got my daughter enough clothes and all the amenities that she would need up to two years old. I did it out of my own pocket. I haven't had a midwife because I'm really too busy uh, going off to film this 
bloody horror movie and people. Uh, some bastard shit got held of uh, the Hobie cast. Uh, the dresses of everybody in the Hobie cast and their knife in the forehead. So that is a uh, that's how so girls a uh, that's just that's actually got better because it was a lot more pronounced. So I just need to wait. That's already disappearing as we speak and that be gone soon. Yeah. So a manner skills or that I've been out and I feel drug dealers and I to tour houses and really not really nice places where you don't really want to be associated with and somebody pretended to be me a uh, whoever's getting access into the bedrooms at night is the only reason why I'm down here at let's say five past three in the morning and I've got absolutely no makeup in my skin a uh, somebody's been doing it like a uh, Thinking my forehead's the me. it just gets for the hobby set or something like that for a heartbeat or something like that. Oh, like God damn it! Uh, yeah. So I'll probably add this up and upload it to YouTube, and hopefully everything will be good. So that is from me in a better light. Yeah. And I've got a whole psoriasis behind my ear. My my skin's an absolute mess. But the, they said they would make it up and I'm supposed to go to Strictly 2022. And I'm like, uh, eh, uh, eh. Uh. Considering uh, another thing in the pipeline, I'm also an opera singer. I'm a, a kind of bell soprano. Uh, and I don't know if. Uh, like uh, it's all cool anyway. Uh, just most of the, most of this movie is unscripted, so I go on to film this horror movie, and I don't really have a script on my hands. So I'm like, hey, all right, but at least I'm not like a uh, like. There's talks about me going to take a weekly casualty, and that I need to be like beyond the book and on the story. Uh, so that, uh, <laughs> uh, but that will need to be sorted out. I want to deal with getting my nose, not like my headless noses. Uh, that's what I also am. I'm, uh, uh, I like doing criminology quite a bit. Uh, and he's a liar uh, about me. And you can't lie anymore. <laughs> so, you're asking me if, I, if I'm like Liza Minnelli's granddaughter, yes I am, uh, but a eyes or a, that of the Tin Man really kind of blue up into the light yeah so another thing me Sixty-five is coming out of my abdomen, which means that I have a life in my abdomen. Mm, Heather Hamilton Boiler, hope you die, because uh, he lied and never can't. He 
eat lemon frittata because somebody ripped, a cr ripped into my bank account, stole nearly all my money, everything that I had. So that's why I'm doing a horror movie for practically nothing. Well, somebody's knifing my forehead, but I'm getting better from that knifing attack. Uh, uh, it was one minute uh, I w they were discussing about putting sutures on my forehead to get the lines. It's not aging. Uh, it's been maliciously put into my forehead. Whilst these marks are from hey, somebody who thinks my, they, they can easy team my forehead to fucking doom. They do that when I'm asleep and I'm getting violently abused in here. Hey, there is nothing but a good lie. I'm pregnant and fuck him. To be honest, this goes out to Megan, he, out in Boston, and the rest of the GHD kids as well, as well as also the kids with uh, also have H the HIV and the whole the rest. I have uh, lymph my Hodgkin's lymphoma back again, which also limits me when I'm going to film certain scenes in this horror movie. Uh, but I'm actually looking bloody horrible and done in. But it's not like, uh, like I'm not playing the Mandy character in uh, this movie. It's like creep. And it's like creating the first movie, but it's done differently, very differently to the first one, yeah. And my old neighbours follow me all over the trip and they pretend to be the creep character. And then my creep character, I can't wait for him to come on the set because uh, I'm making everything safer and it'd be, it'd be better than me going out to film. And that's the grievous bodily harm up to my forehead. See the marks. I want to press charges. Look at the state of that skin. Look at the state of the marks on my forehead. Utter. They were doing ECT at the side of my temples here to the point where I had burns. Two sides here. And I've never been on any mental health drugs in my whole life. Yeah. I've been to the William Gower unit and he's a liar. Give me the medical record to somebody else. And he went and sauntered off my millions. And there's an arrest warrant out to, to the ones called the uh, Molly from The Voice and the uh, Jill Marie Cooper, Lady Nice or whatever you want to call her. Yeah, she certainly isn't. Uh, her and her boyfriend are rancid. Uh, so, big out to everybody, Amethyst uh, and everybody, uh, and also uh, all the rest of them in the Juvenile HD as well, and all the kids out there, uh, especially those uh, like uh, reading some horrific the uh, stories about bullying this week and uh, I went and post on my internet and that's somewhere someone down here making food at this time in the morning. I'm like, unless they're like drugging their face off in the room, you'd only catch like a uh, people who are drugging their face off getting up at this time in the morning and uh, going off to make food. Uh, the amount of food that these people uh, the nor or in order to get a uh, unfit to work, like in order to get benefits and stuff like that, you have to get your work in the United Kingdom first, uh, and then you need to uh, also uh, 
you have to put an unfit to work note into the employer and then also DWP and then they call you forth and see for a health assessment in the job centre and then they see if you're unfit or fit for work or you're in a support group or something like that where employment support allowance and that's how it works. It doesn't work by, oh I just visit a doctor and I can fake up a an unfit to work note, yeah. So, Stuart's violent and abusive to somebody he isn't even related to. Bye bye to the porcelain gentleman Cooper. Mm, a. Say hello to everybody in the journal Huntington's disease uh, site. That's what inspired me for doing this video. Because uh, uh, that's not on. Yeah. If you suspect anybody that's uh, treating you badly in, in any care facility or anything like that, speak up. Get heard. Yeah. Uh, much love, everybody. Hey, I'm not going up to my bed anytime soon. Okay, bye. Mm.